This is about Ramai Swami, who's um, in charge of Australia, Indonesia, the entire southern hemisphere, basically, in Mayapur. He's the um, co-GBC in Australia with Dave and Rita, who was a TP in New Vrindavan when Sulochana was killed, who helped order this killing and who ran off with bags of money, apparently. And so he's the co-GBC in Australia, which means Ramai can pass the blame for things like banning Gopinath and different um, strategies that he's used that are just criminal. Um, beside the fact that he, um, he took Indonesia away from Gora Mandala Bhumi and uh, Krishna immediately removed Iskon from Indonesia after that happened. That's a, that's a direct... So I had to serve Ramai on the bus for many, many years, but the first thing he did to me I, when I joined up in Melbourne, he within a, a few days, you know, I, it was not. It was okay. I was wor worshipping Tulsi and, you know, I was hoping that this gun might be um, what I'd hoped for. And then I was out in the street with a wig, with costume jewellery. Why he would just slack it. He did nothing. He just stayed in the temple. But he forced me out of the wig. This was this was when Prabhupada had left so he could get away with anything. I had to sell this revolting costume jewelry on this on the busy Melbourne city streets every day. It was absolute hell, and then that went on to um, so he started a restaurant from that money that he could just eat. Brihas Buddy just told me, who's a magnificent Prabhupada, just told me he was sitting next to Ramai Swami when he first joined, and Ramai said, "Oh, I just joined for the food." So. Um, Ramai then opened up restaurants. I was chased by the police up into the top floor of that restaurant because I was illegally selling costumes. You know, it was absolute hell selling this stuff for Ramai. I, he knew he could get it because I was so, you know, innocent and um, feeble. He could just throw me around anywhere without anybody knowing. Everyone, you know, Prabhupada disciples were all doing books. I was a new bhakta. So I had to sell costume jewelry. So then it went on, on to the... Um, at Kolo, I was a Bajaria for Rhoda Gopinath. Ramai stole me away from Kolo, took me on the bus. So that's when I really got to learn Ramai's nature because he would just have stone fights all day with Bala and different, and really hurting. He once pinned me down and, per and hurled rocks at me as hard as he could, and he was squealing like a madman. And, and the fact that he's guilty of that, he gave me his prized Tulsi beads, which were neck beads, which were the biggest in Iskon. He gave them to me as a gift because he knew that he'd done an incredible, you know, he's revealed himself, narcissistic nature, by hurling these rocks at me while I was down on the ground. He wouldn't stop. He kept pelting at me. He did that to Kamala Kanta and Cairns. He just... Heavy stone fights, you know, people getting the heads knocked off and stuff. And then he'd line up bottles, you know, instead of chant chanting if we got spare time and the bus broke down, as it always did, with Titterose fix fixing it, he would just have bottle fight, you know, line up bottles on people's front yard and, and, and shatter them all over their lawn, you know. And this is just true stories. So the fact that he's in charge now, <coughs> the thing is, He's showing his pictures right next to Jai Pataka Swami, meaning he's looking to take over. That's, that's his nature. He, he must control things. He must probably an eight in the Enneagram. They simply have to lord it over everything and everyone to um, establish their reign. And that's what he's continuing to do. So I must point out his criminal activity that he lied when he lied about when he was initi initiated to get the superior position in Australia where they, uh, Gopinath joined a year before him but it's the first thing he did was ban Gopinath which he did three times and the third time Gopinath died and the, the first time he banned Gopinath was because Gopinath wouldn't didn't want to sell candles but wanted to sell books and stay true to Prabhupada as the second time and the third time he, he w wanted to establish Varnashram and that was the reason he was banned the third time in which he died and that's why I have to be vocal about this Di Gopinath died he's our Salochana in Australia he died as a result of Ramai banning him for following Prabhupada's instructions, which go against Ramai, was buying all these expensive cars and he bought a motorhome for himself from the money collected on the picket. He just stayed in his motorhome all day for months on the while we were doing the pick every day. Very expensive motorhomes and, you know, 
<clears throat> he, he bought himself really expensive cars and he's now he's bought himself a home on Cobra. And then it's just money has been his motivating factor um, because he's Jewish. And he's actually, he lied about on his front page on his, on his biography that he was born in Egypt. No, he wasn't. He's a wog. He was born in Egypt. He's a wog. He's a very low class person. And he somehow he ra he's come to position by installing all his cronies like Titaraj and Ajita who were caught funneling Prabhupada's money into mafia accounts. The federal police got them. Um, you know, Kalia Krishna and said he put all these cronies in charge of who who would who would bow to him, and he banned Gopinath, who was the only senior devotee. Banned any devotees. Sabarbati was banned. Um, and that's how he's working. That's how he continues to operate. And um, so um, there's just a few points. But anyway, the hell. So on the bus we had to sell these. Well, I was the only picker. Well, he had a couple, but they all phased out guys he could bother we had to sell these thing he would get these cloth prints from a from a um a cloth upholstery store you know just just prints that just cloth prints that you would use for maybe curtains or something and vayner would pin them up on um wooden frames and with that there are about eight of them you have to carry big really hard hard to maneuver into bank off you go and sell these now wherever you could now horrible things you had to lie that oh, they glow in the dark or something really obnoxious you know compared to Prabhupada's books over so so it's about 15 20 years at least minimum 25 years of selling ridiculous paraphernalia that Ramai just kept the money for himself well, it was never Prabhupada's books and speaking of Prabhupada's books Narasra ran off with 10 million dollars of BBT money he was a BBT manager who got Jai Dharma out he took over spiritual sky destroyed spiritual sky and he just wrote to bring BBT back to Prabhupada he said yes I know I'm a criminal but I have loads of money that can pay the corrupt legal system catch me if you can this is our BBT manager so this is the sorry state of ISKCON Australia and Pratapanda took out tem Sydney Temple turned it into a t-shirt t-shirt shop he was a lawyer, you know, he's a criminal. So 